Hi guys, Jeff Allen off the Green Iron. I'm here with uh, my son Keaton, and we are. Uh, I have some leftover wax from my uh, bushcraft waterproofing, my DIY canvas waterproofing, and uh, we were just playing around with some of our uh, different ideas for uh, twig stoves. And one of my old uh, crafts that I I remember making when I was a youth, uh, I think in Boy Scouts, was the the cardboard. Uh, cardboard stove. So this is quite reminiscent of the uh, kind of like the fancy feast stove or the alcohol stove. But this was one way that we could have um, kind of a continual uh, burner or, or stove uh, just by using cardboard, wax, uh, and uh, yeah, it's a super cheap way. Great craft and great craft for kids. So we're going to try to build one today and uh, put that in our kit as a uh, kind of impromptu stove option. Stick around. Hi guys, welcome back. Jeff Allen off the green iron. Okay, so the uh, the stove itself is comprised of uh, an old tin. These tins can be any kind of salmon tin or leftover uh, fruit tin, fruit cup, and your actual fancy feast cup would be uh, or tin would actually work well with this as well. Your first step is to cut cardboard and roll it as tightly as possible to fill the tin as snugly as you can get it. So we're going to start by cutting with the cardboard and uh, we're going to use this tin so we're going to use quite a length of cardboard but if you run out in certain uh, in a certain length you just kind of continue rolling until it fits in to the can perfectly okay so what you have to do here is we don't necessarily need the tape portion on your piece of paper and a piece of cardboard so make sure it's free of that then you're going to measure how high your can is okay so then you're going to put a mark right there and a mark over here and a mark at the end okay now you're going to lay them down lay it down and with a straight edge like a ruler mm -hmm. line those up and cut them okay line those up and draw a marker along the line Okay, let's see your line. It's all nice and straight. Okay, you want to cut that off? Okay, because that may not be enough, put that on the over top of the piece again and trace another piece the same same size. So this straight side, yep. And trace it right down, just draw a line. Okay, you can have that piece. I'll take this one. And on the side of the table, because it's really stiff and it's hard to roll, I want you to roll back and forth the table. Really hard and just have it very flexible when it's done, very floppy.
Turn it over and try it again. Keep going. Yeah, it's all soft and all bendy. Now I roll it. Yeah, roll it up as tight as you possibly can. As tight as possible. Really squish it down each turn. Okay, now just use the other one, butt it up against it, and just keep rolling, really rolling it together. In the same direction, is it in the same direction? That's it. I'll do this one too. Let's see. Let me see the size of the roll. How big a roll is it? We're going to test our roll inside the can to see how much we need. As Keaton finishes rolling up the cardboard for our stove, we measured uh, the size of one of these kind of tuna cans, but with the amount of cardboard we have rolled up, we're going to try it inside one of the fancy feast cans, and then we're going to do a comparison with a uh, burn time over the alcohol versus the fancy feast uh, cardboard stoves. Okay, this is the leftover wax from our waterproofing experiment. So we've got all the wax melted and we're going to take this over and pour it down over top of our stove. This is where adults have to be involved because this is extremely hot and this is when accidents can happen. Okay, so we're going to take our hot melted wax and now that the stove is, is uh, filled, uh, we're going to pour our wax down on top of the cardboard and let it soak into the cardboard and it'll fill all the voids. We try to get all the cardboard involved and it'll fill that fancy fees can. You just watch it, make sure it doesn't overflow. There it comes right to the brim. That's when we stop. With the cardboard soaking it up in the can full, we're just going to let it harden. Okay, Keaton has finished his fancy cardboard, fancy cardboard wax stove. And just for fun, we are going to uh, use one of our old uh, twig stove or multi-fuel stoves and put our fancy cardboard wax stove inside and heat some water. We're going to try a little boil test, two cups of water and uh, see if we can uh, uh, make a hot drink. All right, so we need uh, Let's get our two cups of water, Keaton. All right, Keaton's gone inside to get some water for our hot drink and uh, pretty happy. The uh, fancy cardboard uh, wax stove, <laughs> uh, that's, uh, it fits well in there. And it's a perfect height from the bottom of our container. We're gonna put that in there and uh, see if it heats up the two cups for a hot drink.
Okay, here we go. Ah, perfect. Anyways, uh, Keaton's, uh, your little stove was a success, eh? Yeah. Fancy cardboard wax stove. And uh, it fit uh, perfectly right inside our, uh, kind of our old DIY twig stove. And heated up the water probably about, uh, well, six, five, six minutes. And uh, it worked well. So, thanks, Keaton. Ah, that's our fancy feast cardboard wax stove. stove. Perfect. Well, folks, Keaton joined me today, and we had a great, uh, great time working on our fancy cardboard wax stove. What a great little craft! Uh, it's important to get young ones involved in, in bushcraft and campcraft, and uh, that memory of uh, going back as far as uh, I think it was Cubs or Boy Scouts uh, still resided with me today. So, until next time, Jeff Allen off the Great Iron. Thanks for watching. If you haven't done so already, I would love your subscription and your support. Please click down below, click like if you enjoyed the video, and certainly the bell notification to be notified of my next video. Up top is one that I think you would like. Check it out, and uh, I'll get back to you with any comments you may leave. Until next time, take care. Enjoy your outdoors. Cheers.